so like a lot of people that use Linux. I have a soft spot for Firefox. Heck, I've used Firefox since the days of Firebird and all those old, old, old different betas and alphas that existed with Firefox and I've been a staunch Firefox user through all the years. Although I have, of course, dabbled with uh, Chromium-based browsers and Edge browsers and you name it, I've tried it, but I always seem to come back to using Firefox, especially these days with the upcoming threats when it comes to how ads will be handled in the future editions of Chrome-based browsers. But I'm also not immune and I'm also not an idiot. I'm also not immune and I'm also not an idiot and there has been some controversy in recent times with good old Firefox and I thought hey wouldn't it be nice to try a Firefox based browser that isn't Firefox. Now I know the Sleeper Wolf right which of course is supposed to be Firefox with additional privacy options enabled and you know all of this great stuff and I, I, I've used LibreWolf and I've used other browsers that have based themselves uh, on LibreWolf and tried to rebrand it but that's generally what you've got and there's a few others but I recently came across Floop now what the heck is Floop now it's not some type of a cough it is actually a web browser that originates from Japan <coughs> and has you know additional no user tracking it's open source has design options and it's based in Firefox ESR and basically it is supposed to be to Firefox what I suppose a customized version of Chromium is to Vivaldi perhaps not with the same amount of customizations, and I've really grown to be fond of it. So how do you get Floop? Well, a couple of ways. If you download it and you're using uh, non-Linux, of course you can just use your Windows and Mac OS installers. Linux, you can either install it from FlatHub, which I recommend, or you can go ahead and add the uh, PPA if you need to, if you're using a Ubuntu distribution, which I am but I don't recommend doing it that way I just use it from flat up right so right so I've gone ahead and installed it and once you install it this is your first welcome screen so it has the uh, privacy policy yeah I'm not gonna lie I didn't read that my Japanese ain't very good but it immediately starts off like this giving you the option to sign into your Firefox account if you want want to and are you ready to dive in or skip to start browsing so you say ready to dive in and you say import data you could import data but in my case I don't have any data to really import this is a relatively new setup and you've got basic default and advanced features so I'm going to say advanced and you'll see suddenly we it enables the bar at the bottom and the bar on the right hand side and it gives you different design options so you've got the original design the Flip design, the Firefox Proton design, uh, Proton Fix design, Photon. Um, yeah, I, I generally, I suppose, don't. I find them very similar to each other, to be very honest with you. Um, so I'm probably would just stick with the Photon design or Photon Fix design. And I'm going to go to next and start browsing the web. And unfortunately, it does start off with Pocket, but fortunately, you can just. Uh, switch pocket off immediately and it can get rid of your sponsored uh, shortcuts and if you want you could get rid of shortcuts altogether but where this is nice is here if you start going into the advanced settings of this browser there's not a lot you can't do and additional things that you can't necessarily even do all of them in Firefox so I'm gonna start off with uh, finding DRM right I need to enable DRM for my browser Right, unfortunately that's if I need to access some clips online, I, I don't have a choice. 
then of course just under design and tabs uh, all sorts of different options here they even also still have the container uh, app container tab option which is from firefox um again we, we've had these but one thing that is nice um is their tab bar style so you've got the horizontal tab bar multi so if i restart um really 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 new kind of design going on here with the tab uh if we go back to just horizontal so you'll see what the difference is let's just cancel that you can see how it pushes us the one to the top or to the other i actually prefer that but something this can do easier than firefox right is vertical tabs and don't have to use a third party add-on and it actually works and it hides the tabs at the top really nice uh, which i think is absolutely uh, i think that's awesome that that actually works and then of course your general browser manager features your workspace features um that you've got um your search your search bar your default uh search entrance which you can of course change and add others um, all really easy it doesn't seem to overwrite it and of course giving you again the options of uh, browsers browser options and of course you can add additional add-ons and stuff for security as you really will and I mean a lot of it is very similar to normal Firefox but some of the just traditional uh, stuff out of the box is, is actually really great so if you let someone to add add-ons uh, you would just go to Firefox as I just say search add-ons and of course you get to normal Firefox page so let's say for example I want dark reader I'm just going to type in dark reader go there add to Firefox and the extension is added really nicely which uh, pretty cool and I can just click on here for the extension and it will show it or I could pin it to the toolbar okay on the right hand side here you can add a couple of websites uh, you can add them in a container or not a container so let's want a personal website and i'll make it green.com and i want to save it right uh, i could just click here and it's going to open it here if i want it uh, panel i can close this panel close that off and it's kind of like a jewel little panel thing which I must admit I don't uh, use very often but it is interesting to to use at times so you can just add additional tabs here and of course to change it you go to browser manager sidebar and you can either have it on the left or the right or just uh, hide it away completely and here of course we back to normal and again I can just uh, reopen it and it'll remember the settings no problem which is actually pretty nice and if i was to click here um i can switch between devices pretty easily list all my tabs um, and do it like that so and again if i want to undo it i can just go back to multi-tab rubber we start it and there we go back to normal folks let me know what you think if you've used this or use something else be interested in hearing your thoughts as always bye for now mm -hmm.